G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines for another After Trade Show. Been a few years since we've been to one. There is gonna be a whole lot of new and exciting product in these halls. Let's go and show you the best of what Fishing Monthly can find. Hey you going guys, Mick Horn here from Rapala VMC Australia and I'm pretty excited here at AFTER to show some of the new products. This is probably one of my favourite new lures we have released, it's called the Shadrap Elite 75. I've caught some good mangrove jacks on it, a couple of barra, so make sure uh, when you come and see the stand, come and check out the Shadrap Elite 75. Also another one which is coming later in the year for us is the X-Rap Deep and uh, we brought out some awesome barra colours in it. So for the guys who like casting and trolling barra, uh, we've got a new range and some awesome barra uh, colours from your Guns N' Roses to your Naturals and right through to some of your dark colours and of, of course your golds for uh, chasing barra in that dirty water. Hi, it's Michael from Froglies here. One of the newest releases we've got at this year's After Trade Show. For the first time, we're showing a brand new brand, Real Baits. Part of the Real Baits range is this fantastic whiting. The biggest thing about Real Baits is, as the name suggests, it's a lure that's imitating real fish. So this is the King George whiting, and we have a whole heap of Australian bait fish, the yellow eye mullet, sand whiting, what, two different types of pilchards, the Australian pilchard and the blue eye pilchard, red bait, bony brim, we've got herring, and they're all, the biggest thing about these lures is the actual printing job. So these aren't hand painted like most lures on the market. These are computer printed from an actual photo of fish. So this is the most realistic you can get, 3D scan models, computer painted. They are close to the real thing you can get. That's why they're called real baits. G'day, Josh Lowry here from Samaki, Australia. And I'm here at AFTER 2022 to show our hottest products coming this summer. It's our brand new Hardlicious. So everybody knows the very popular Samaki Vibalicious that's been in the market now for several years. This is a next generation. It is hard body, but it has interchangeable tails. It comes with a fork tail, plus also an additional fish tail in it. It has a unique hook holding system in the top that holds this Japanese YS81 hook that just pops out on strike, or it can sit back up in the body if you want to be very snag resistant and remove, remove the front treble. Comes in three sizes. 75mm, 95mm and 110mm, which like this one is here. And as I said before, it comes in 12 exciting colours and all rigged with Japanese decoy split rings and trebles. Hey guys, Curtis here from Halco Tackle and in my hand is our brand new TB55, which we are really excited about. Now if you've been around for a little while, you've probably noticed that this looks very much like a Tilson Bass and it almost is difference being between this and the Tilson Bass is these ones are made of plastic. Now the problem we had with the Tilson Bass was finding wood that is consistent in its buoyancy and so we've gone and made the exact same lure out of plastic. So they're all completely consistent, they suspend in fresh water, weigh seven and a half grams, dive to about three and a half to four meters, catch lots of fish, they're an absolute cracker so check them out. Hey guys, Chris from Chase Baits Australia. Uh, one of our new releases this year is the 50mm Armour Prawn. A smaller finesse version of our armor prawn range, three and a half grams, one eighth ounce, uh, size 12 decoy Japanese treble on there, and two attachment points for two different actions. So these will be on the shelves October, November, and uh, an awesome little brim lure. Keep an eye out for them. Hey, Wilson Stan, plenty of new lures. We've got heaps. We've got a whole bunch of new bone lures, new colors. That's the Focus 130, whole range of colors. We've got the S5 Barra, which is going to be great for Impoundment Barra and also Murray Cod. Up the back here, we've got a prototype for everyone to have a look at. That's a 190 uh, Focus, so that's massive. It's also got a little twisty tail thing that comes out, so it can be three-piece or two-piece. And of course, we're also showing the... Um, what's that? The live Target Live Shrimp from, uh, from America. That just won the award for best hard body at uh, iCast. So we're pretty happy about that one. And of course, we're now doing live target lures. We're also doing duo lures, which many of you will know, including the little cicada, which I'm not even gonna try and say the name. So they're little rippers, and then yeah, more duos, a couple of prototype things, like a heavier live mullet for everyone to think about. A little Zeric Affinity, which is a 170. 
a nice little light one that'll see some barrel work and flathead work in the next few weeks. And lastly, one of my little favourites, uh, the Xerix swim baits. So that's probably about 12 months away, this one. But it's one we're showing off, getting some feedback from some people. So that pretty much sums up a, a quick look at what we've got going on. G'day guys, Dave Young here at 2022 After on the EJ Todd stand. Going to show you a couple of new products today. Some pretty exciting stuff out of the Palms uh, stable here. Obviously everyone's familiar with the Slow Black 20 grams, a, an absolute bass slayer. Um, we've got this new guy here, which is a Slow Black Crater. So in a 15 and 20 gram profile, um, that's going to be bound to catch some big bass coming into those uh, cooler months. So check them out at ejtodd.com.au or your local tackle retailer. Um, up from the Mollick stuff, obviously, once again, the Shad 140s is, uh, you know, Barra Slayer. So they've just sort of downsized this one. Now they've got him in a 120, all your favourite colours, all that type of stuff as well. And that same awesome action that's been so popular with the 140. So for the Barra guys out there, you want something that's a little bit smaller profile, check that one out. And then from Lunker Hunt, you've got the, uh, the Skitter Lizard, which is an absolute beast of a looking uh, hollow body uh, frog construction. It's got a stinger as standard there, heap of different colours and a really crazy action. So... Once again, check that one out at ejtodd.com.au or your local uh, leading tackle retailer. How are we going? My name's Mark Dunphy from Shimano. We're here at the, uh, the first day of the trade show. We've got a few new lures here. Um, the big one that really is, is a big hit for us to launch this year is the, the Armour Boost or Armour Joint Bantam Ranger lures. This lure is something unique. It's actually designed um, with Armour Boost inside where literally your, your big swim baits are hard to throw. This thing's got magnets inside and when you go to cast that lure, it folds over to help propel itself through the air, casting around 40% further than a standard swim bait. So it's also got a really cool hook lock system that actually locks the, the hooks in with a magnet. So it holds the, the lure and the, and the hooks in place. So again, when you cast it, uh, it stops the hooks failing up. So when a fish bites, it literally just pop out so you get a good hook set. So big features in this lure is, um, yeah, that, it's got armor boost, flash boost, um, and scale boost. So three huge technologies out of the Shimano lure range. So the new Bantam uh, armor boost lure. You've also got the, uh, the bubble dip. So this is a, a cross between a stick bait and a popper. And again, it's got all the features of um, jet boost, um, you know, flash boost, all the cool stuff. So that's, yeah, designed for catching, yeah, big kings, GTs, anything that swings, single swims in the water. Uh, and the pelagic side of things. So another one out, out in store shortly. You've also got a list of um, Hiramasa, which is a, a kingfish top water lure, designed to fish as, as a floating stick bait. Again, with, um, with flash boost and scale boost all built into that lure. So it all comes rigged, ready to rock and roll. You've also got head dips uh, in a 140. Uh, you've then got the next size up in a 175 and up to a 200. So again, all these have a a built-in uh, casting system which is called Jet Boost. Basically that, that shoots that weight to help propel that lure through the air and cast further. So again, patent flash boost, scale boost, uh, and they're all rigged, ready to rock and roll. Catch anything that swims on the pelagic side. You've also got uh, down here as well. So this again, dives to about sort of just half a metre, uh, designed as a, as a land-based style lure. But it's uh, yeah, basically the strong assassin. So targeted uh, yeah, again with all the jet boost ARC systems and yeah, ready to rock and roll. Got the reef wriggler, ten colours to choose from. Uh, targeted at all your your inshore, offshore uh, species. All new fish as well, <laughs> new colour ranges, new prawn patterns, white bait, sardine. Uh, all all again launching out in the stores now. We've also put you know in the 150 size fish. We bought these back in some new colours and there's existing in the old, so that's a quick rundown. Uh, there's plenty more going on, but I reckon you're uh, good to get a start on that. Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. After 2022, two cool new finesse plastics from Z-Man. We've got the two and a half inch prawns, realistic prawn imitation, nice bulk in the body to hold a hook and a nice thin tail for action and also ST Grubs. Our ST Grubs has got a deep rib body to hold scent and create water movement and a nice feathered tail, split tail design that works really well on the drop and at slow speeds. So that's a couple of finesse plastics. Let's get a jig head to put them on. New at the show, so we have our Headlocks Finesse, very popular on a light wire Gamakatsu, now available in four colors. 
with a UV coating as well. So those guys combined with your favorite finesse plastic, fish on. Hey guys, it's Tucker from Dow Australia. I'm in charge of laws and lines. So we've got a few new laws out this year, uh, including some new colors added to the existing range, as well as a couple of new stuff. Uh, starting off with double clutch, we've got a few new colors added to the barramundi size. So we've got 10 new colors added to it. Uh, starting off with that little wakasagi color all the way to the whiting. So focus on those guys that are fishing Darwin, um, Northern Territory and the far north Queensland. And I've also got a couple of new colors added to the standard size 95, 75 and 60s. Some of the colors you've already seen them in the little 48 size size, um, but we've actually made that same color into the larger size as well. Um, what I'm trying to do at the moment is creating the preso as a trout color. So a trout lure basically. So we're going to cull down some of those brim colors out of the preso and we will actually condense those into only a trout color. And we do have some new colors here. So we got midnight purple, uh, char, golden retriever, red and silver cutthroat. And as I say, we're going to take all these 60 mil preso uh, minnows out of there. So we're going to add some of them into ink feet. So we got those new release this year. It's called Infit Sazunami 60mm Shallow Runner. So it's got the same cast weight system as double clutch, but it's gonna swim a little bit um, shallower. And we've also actually added uh, Adele foil into it. So that's basically a copy of a bait fish belly. So that's a new release from us this year. Uh, we've got some of those rolling crank coming out in new color as well. And what I've done this year is I've actually done a little bit different masking what I call the crab shell. So it's a little bit different to what you see from us usually. So it's not like a suji or it's not like a bluegill, but it's a crab shell masking. Um, other than that, everyone loves Infuse Spike. So we've got a couple of new colors added to Spike 53 as well. Uh, we've got the suji berry, which is pretty popular in a 44 size. So we've got in the 53 as well. And we got the weedy suji and all time favorite, Ghost Are You. Uh, they're coming back in as an Infuse well and another new release from us is the Steed soft shell 90 so it's a soft shell I guess soft vibe from us uh, this is the first trial of a week bag actually done um, I'll get them out so you can have a look <coughs> the 90 mil soft shell vibe uh, comes with a big guy hooks attached to it and there's a couple of tall points which you can actually put little uh, stingers in there uh, that comes with a box already so you can add it to it if you want to take one of those trebles off and put a stingers if you're chasing yellow belly especially um, those lure will actually sit in the bottom of the, I guess the bottom in the water and they'll actually you can shake them and make those arms to actually move and other way of rigging those you can put like weedless double hooks on there and you can put those hooks there and you can actually pinch this little part there to actually stabilize the hook there as well so they will come in steers range and if you want to change those assist hooks in different color we got three different options there for you guys as well glenn from your outdoor experience just wanted to show you some of the new lures that are available now in australia this is our hide up brand we have the hu 150 which most of the new south wales river fishermen and dam fishermen are starting to get their head around and enjoying we've got a few colors that we've gotten made especially for the australian market and the rivers and um, yeah we get those in quite a few different depths so pretty much where you work a vibe or where you work any cranks any depths we go right down to a four meter sorry not that one these are the four meter we can cast and hit bottom 20 foot with those and trawling we've actually hit bottom at 30 foot with the you know, lighter braids uh, these are our ingredients doing really well on cod on barra yeah those you can Put a chin weight on them you can tow them from the front nose like a swim bait and then you can also put your your line on the back and work it like a vibe the bigger your chin weight you put on you can work any depth you want doing real well you can see a few of the cod and barra that we've caught on them and this is our my favorite obviously is barra everyone that knows me knows i love my barra we've had these especially tricked up for the australian market as you can see we've got oz spec on that got heavier hooks got those that they just sink nice and slow just for the you can work pretty much every depth I've caught barrier in 15 foot of water long edges but those work really well and we've got our our seven gram 
chatterbaits, which are made for pretty much for the Australian bass with smaller size hook. We do a seven and a nine gram in the small hook, and then they also do a three eighth, which has a little bit bigger, it has a three o hook. And they're actually designed, these, these plastics are designed to actually go onto the chatterbaits and stop, you can still have the good chatterbait action. It's, yeah, the way the fork tail's made doesn't wreck the action of the chatterbaits. And then one of our other brands that we've got and we've just gotten now is called Flash Union. They do a full metal sonic blade. These have got awesome action. They've made them really thin, so as soon as you lift your rod off the bottom, those things start vibing and start working. We're having really good results and they're selling really, really well. It's going really good. You, as you can see, I'm getting snapper and everything on those.